Today we're going to be reacting to a video, Navy SEAL robs five banks within a month. So I kind of feel like they've made a movie about this. Uh, so I guess this is like the actual inside scoop and what really happened in real life. So let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead and hop right into this. Friday, December 22nd, 2017. A former Navy oh, SEAL dang. who had just settled down in the quiet suburbs of Austin, Texas, quickly found himself moonlighting as a bank robber. Texas a is a one month, really dangerous place to do that five too. Banks in broad daylight, so many people the same open carry there twice. Absolutely perplexing authorities. Same banks Police are investigating twice. two bank robberies in the last eight hours, including. And after shaking up the FBI's violent crimes task force and local authorities alike, one detective would inevitably come face to face with the operator after one final score. How much was this man able to get away with? Oh, that's In 1982, insane. a young enlisted sailor by the name of Thomas Mixon attended the Navy's six month long Navy SEAL selection course, basic underwater demolition SEAL training. Most commonly referred to by its acronym, BUDS, and arguably one of the most difficult special operations selection courses the world has ever seen, with an attrition rate of nearly 75%. You don't start making up your own rules around here, Casey. That's it. Minor adjustment. You don't belong here, sir. And after completing BUDS and SEAL qualification training, Mixon earned his coveted trident and was assigned to SEAL Team 5, a West Coast team based out of Coronado, California, where he deployed three times with Delta Platoon. His duties included weapons and ordnance maintenance, long short range land navigation, instruction in hostage rescue training, as well as close quarter combat and lots of bar fights in uh, PB. And after serving four years with SEAL Team 5, Mixon joined a highly classified small operational team in 1990 known as Red Cell. A group of American commandos carried out dozens of terrorist attacks worldwide. They penetrated military bases, kidnapped government personnel, and raided weapon storage sites. The original Red Cell was a 14-man team composed of 13 members of SEAL Team 6 and one Force Recon Marine. The unit was organized to attempt to infiltrate and otherwise test the security of U.S. military bases and other installations. Goodness. They would frequently use false IDs, dismantle fences, barricade buildings, and even kidnap high-ranking personnel. Additionally, Red Cell planted bombs near Air Force One, snuck into submarine bases, and took them over. And amongst the team was Thomas Mixon. And realizing the potential and value of his skill set outside of the teams, Mixon left Red Cell and the Navy altogether in 1990 to turn those skills into some real money through private executive security and his clients, the Royal Saudi family. All right, so this is already pretty intense. These are some dudes you don't want to be caught messing around in the wrong way with. Although not much is known about his they specific role, mess you it doesn't up. take a historian to figure it out. And As in that same year, Mexican was quick. providing security for the Saudis, an armed campaign waged by a United States-led coalition of 35 countries against Iraq was launched in response to the Iraqi invasion and annexation of Kuwait, better known as Desert Storm. And it only took Mixon one year to quit as he moved to Austin, Texas, looking for change. Some dudes you do not want to be messing with. Mixon settled down and attended the University of Austin while launching his own business as a personal trainer called Fit Frog Personal Training and marketed the program as a Navy SEAL style conditioning course. But somewhere in between semesters, in personal training, Mixon would take on more security and consulting gigs overseas, off and on from 2004 through 2007, quite possibly earning twenty to $30,000 a month while deployed. And when he wasn't deployed, he was stateside chipping away at his bachelor's in kinesiology. And shortly after obtaining his degree, Mixon quickly made a name for himself as a personal trainer in the Austin area, where he was even featured in a 2007 issue of Austin Fit magazine absolutely catapulting his business. And he'd make a name for himself once again, 10 years later, but this time as a professional bank robber. 
His motives behind the decision remain unclear, but yeah, one look at his dude. resume would tell you. He's more than likely the kind of guy that would get away with it. And whether it was the seductive force of mathematical certainty through the application of his tactics or personal or financial problems, on December 22nd of 2017, Thomas Mixon, former SEAL, former Red Cell operator, who blended into society as a nobody personal trainer, overtook his first bank. And at approximately 1 p.m., an armed Mixon entered the branch of an IBC bank on Ranch Market. Wearing a black hat and sunglasses, he stormed the teller station, hmm. pulled out a red and gray bag, and tossed it to the teller, ordering the woman to fill it up with the money. Mixon then told the bank employees to count backwards gloves? from 30 before calling police and left the bank with a take of $3,000. And not even 20 minutes later, APD like officers and APD's robbery that's responsible not a arrived lot. on the scene. The teller reported that she witnessed the suspect get into a dark gray pickup. She described the suspect as a white male, approximately mid-50s and about 5'11", with acne scars on his cheeks and carrying a red and black HEB bag with a cowboy boots graphic. APD robbery detectives and FBI special agents arrived on scene shortly after and conducted their investigation. Among the money given to the suspect were several serialized bills known as bait money. The serial numbers were previously documented by the bank and a list of the serial numbers were provided to police by bank employees who were in absolute disbelief over the whole ordeal. The odds of being a victim of bank robbery are yeah, extremely that's why you gotta low. Be careful. And the odds of being a victim of bank robbery twice by the same guy, I mean, come on. Bruh. Well, it happened again. As Mixon hit the same branch only two weeks later on January 5th of 2018. <sighs> He entered the bank at approximately 12.05 p.m., That's pointed insane. his weapon at the tellers, and ordered them to put the money in the bag. Once again, the same female teller, scared for her life, placed $8,075 oh, wow. cash into Mixon's leather bag. And talk about the only thing day was yesterday, official motto of bank second. tellers. Apparently. He then told bank employees to count back. The second take was a lot better than the first, and but... Calling police and left the bank. And after police arrived, I mean, Detective Glass. I don't know if eight grand Austin is police really department worth all that. the bank surveillance and noticed that the suspect was consistent with the same person who robbed the bank on December 22nd. Why the offender would rob the same place twice left Detective Glasgow with many unanswered questions. But maybe it was the fact that they'd quite literally never see it coming. And these tactics proved to be effective, as Detective Glasgow would find himself with even more unanswered questions after getting a call for yet another bank robbery as Thomas Mixon was just getting started. His third robbery occurred on February 1st at approximately 1.15 p.m. APD responded so to I mean, the right now he's only at like $11, located at 3401 Northland Drive. One of the tellers reported that the suspect entered the bank, pulled his sweatshirt over his head, and pulled out a gun, demanding the money. The tellers then handed over $11,730 oh, in wow. cash. Oh, wow. So that brings some up to like 23000 weapon around 115 and got away with About. cash. The man... Last seen running south. I mean, it's still only twenty three thousand. Information like, you're asked to call police. Mixon would rob the same bank only six, six days, days later. later. He entered the bank at approximately nine a.m., gun in hand, wearing the same clothes and pointing the same weapon at the same teller and making her fill up the same bag with a take of two thousand three hundred and thirty five dollars. So, I mean, twenty five. Getting two bank robberies in the last eight hours, including one that was. Also robbed less than a week ago. Just after nine this morning, police say a man walked into the Prosperity Bank. Authorities say he showed a handgun, got cash, and ran south on balconies. It is the same description as this man. Police say he robbed that same bank last week and ran in the same direction. By this time, authorities were perplexed as to whether the suspect was robbing the same banks twice out of stupidity or out of a calculated playbook. And they'd soon have their answers after Mixon's final score. On February 26th, at approximately 9.20 a.m., Mixon entered the Plains Capital Bank in Austin, pulled his hood over his head, drew his firearm from his waistband, and tossed his black leather briefcase onto the teller counter. He ordered the tellers to give him all the money they had. $43,698. Oh, wow. That one's he actually finally a had a good lucrative score. score. 43 Gs for five minutes work. But inside the leather bag were two radioactive tracking devices, otherwise known 
as rats. Detective Glasgow arrived on scene and immediately knew it was the same suspect. And he learned from bank employees that there were two tracking devices with the money that was given to Mixon. Detective Glasgow related this information to dispatch, at which point APD communications advised and that there was an active track. Air one was dispatched and responded and began tracking the, the signal. They tracked the signal to a gray Ford F-150 pickup within the driveway of a residential Austin suburb. APD uh -oh. patrol officers responded to the residence and spotted what appeared to be the homeowner coincidentally exiting his residence and walking toward the pickup. They stopped the man and made contact with him. He identified himself as Thomas Mixon, at which point Detective Glasgow arrived on scene and informed Mixon that his Ford pickup might have been involved in a bank robbery. He asked Mixon for consent to search his vehicle, at which point Mixon became extremely nervous and had trouble speaking. Officers on scene and Detective Glasgow alike, knowing full well they had their guy, anxiously awaited Mixon's answer to their question. And instead of consenting to the search, Mixon requested a lawyer. All because of that tracker. So he could have gotten away with the first four, booked into jail, but then that tracker the on the fifth got him. $34,000 in loose cash with straps bearing the unique stamp of Plains Capital Bank were recovered from within Mixon's vehicle. Detective Glasgow obtained and executed a search warrant on Mixon's residence and recovered a variety of items, including a red and gray HEB grocery bag with a cowboy boots graphic, the type of bag used during his first robbery. He then obtained arrest warrants charging Mixon for all five bank robberies and placing him on $100,000 bonds for each charge. Austin police have arrested a man they say robbed three banks a total of five times. On January 15th, 2019, Mixon was indicted on five federal counts of bank robbery and pleaded guilty to all five counts on April 17th of that year. On September 6th, Mixon was sentenced to serve 97 months in the Federal Bureau of Prisons. Once released, Mixon will serve an additional five years of supervised release and pay $25,943 in restitution. Goodness. After all of that success, the accomplishment of earning his trident, so, I mean, he's still in a good work over the years, eight and years, a successful personal training business. And then five years supervised, that would make an abrupt turn rough. to bank robbery is a mystery in itself. A mystery which only Thomas Mixon has the answers to. That's insane. Hey guys, I wonder if you what enjoyed happened this video, be sure to hit to that make subscribe him button. There's feel like he needed to be in that situation. That's that's pretty crazy. You got to be careful. Got to be careful. And I'm surprised he was able to get away with it in Texas cuz I mean, we've all heard how Texas is. I mean, shoot. That's crazy. I hope you guys enjoyed. That's all for this one. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out.